th- thank you, Tracy. It's uh, it's great to to. Ah, the recording in progress. Got it. Let me just acknowledge that. It's great to be here. Uh, I, I enjoy these. Thank you so much for having me. I think anytime we can talk about um, financial awareness, education is, is, a, is a good thing for everybody. And uh, like, like Tracy said, I, I would love to come to your classroom if you're a teacher. Um, I can do it virtually dur- during uh, thir- during this uh, while we're dealing with COVID, or I do come in in person, and I, I like to uh, like to bribe my way in with with treats and snacks. So, in addition to financial education, um, so my contact information will be at the end of this slide or at the end of this presentation. Uh, it's also Tracy has it readily available. Uh, one more thing I, I do want to bring up. Um, we have we have done some of these and they're they're very organic. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, bring them up or put them in the chat. And Tracy or Linda, someone will let me know and we'll address those. I am here to make sure that um, you have some information that you need to make hopefully make your life a, a little bit better, easier, more convenient. Um, so with that being said, we'll we'll go ahead and start. Um, I'm Brian Dewar from WSTCU, and I'm a Dodger fan. I'll give it 30 seconds to see if that's going to cause any negative reactions. All right, take the hat off. Big game tonight. So no Giants fans out there, I take it. So the cost of credit, uh, oh, here we go. I'll make sure it's working. So today we're, we're going to go over really what uh, what credit and your credit score, uh, how it can impact your life. And, and it, uh, it really comes down to it provides you more options. And uh, one of the, one of the favorite things I'd like to say is, you know, I, I don't I, I'm not I don't like money. I don't I don't I could care less about money. I'm not obsessed with money, but I sure do like the options that money provides. Uh, and so credit is another way uh, I view it, it is you just have more options. Um, if you, if you can handle your credit or if your credit is a, is a higher score. So um, that's what we're going to go over today in, in, in some of the ways that uh, you can make sure your credit's working for you and providing you and, and your people in your, in your life with as many options as possible. Uh, so these, these are just some of the things that, that we'll cover. Um, I know the last, uh, the, the, the last workshop on, on identity theft, through the organic conversations we and, and questions that came up, we covered everything and more um, that was on the agenda. So please don't be shy. Uh, so the first thing about, about credit is uh, it really starts with your financial institution. Uh, in my case, credit union, uh, also known as banks. Um, and, and actually uh, recently uh, there's some technology companies that are, that are uh, behaving in all the way a financial institution does, including making loans. Uh, they're not regulated yet. Um, so know your financial institution, know, you, know your credit union, know your bank, know wherever you're keeping your money, you're getting your loans, whatever you're doing, your transactions through um, fees and charges, uh, you know, the interest, special features, location, convenience. Um, some people still like to go into the bank quite a bit. So, so location can be, uh, can be a priority. Um, kind of depends where you, where you are in, in your own personal life. I, I, I know people that just never want to go into their bank. Um, it's just an item on their to-do list, deal with their bank. And, and I, um, I often, if you've been in these series before, I use Dan Dewar as an example. He loves to go into his credit union. Um, and I think half of it is for social reasons. Um, and that's cool. That's all right. I know the credit union, we like that. Um, we, we like seeing familiar faces. So all these you want to take into consideration uh, when, when, you're, when you're choosing not only your bank, but when you're, when you're dealing with your credit. So um, checking accounts, requirements for opening an account. Um, you know that 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 impacts your credit. Uh, minimum open, opening balance, minimum monthly balance of fees, the overdraft programs. Um, you can you can opt in or out of overdraft programs, and remember that's just uh, letting letting you spend money that you don't have. Yeah. Um, well, that can um, that can help save your credit. It can also be very costly. Uh, for example, let's say you have two or three dollars in your in your checking account. And you go to Starbucks and buy a four dollar loan, and then you get you get hit with a thirty five dollar fee. And that just turned into a, like an almost forty dollar cup of coffee. Um, you know, <laughs> that's a really good cup of coffee. I hope uh, there's some cynicism in. Uh, just just be aware of the different uh, 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 
the different penalties or, or, or the options you have when it comes to your checking account and spending money that you might not have. Uh, savings and checking accounts. Uh, why save? Well, I, I, that we can probably go on all evening about that. Um, but why save it? It's so you're so you're prepared for the unprepared. Um, one of one of the more common savings uh, products is a, a money market deposit account that accrues interest or or CD. Uh, and, and the two the two main differences about that is a certificate of deposit of CD is is you're, it, it's, it's tied to a certain term, a certain amount of time. So uh, I would say you buy a CD, an 18 month, a 24 month, 36 month CD, it takes that long, it takes that amount of time to mature. And if you withdraw that money early, there's a penalty. So uh, know, know what the penalty costs are before you open a CD. Um, there's other, there's other uh, savings accounts and, and there's other accounts out there. The, the financial institutions are getting incredibly creative on ways to uh, capture what um, is referred to to wallet share. So they want more share of your wallet. Um, and some of them are, are pretty beneficial. They're, they're pretty cool. Some of them are, are very predatory and, uh, and, and, and bad, and, uh, but some are, some are very beneficial. So uh, I, I guess the intent is there. Don't just always, you know, oh, this is, this is, this is, a you know, Bologna, this is just marketing, um, you know, go through it. So just be aware, educate yourself. Uh, the debit and credit cards, uh, if, if, uh, if this isn't your first time at these workshops, uh, you know that I'm a big fan of, of, uh, of, of using credit over debit. Um, the main reason is, is if, um, if you're a victim or if a fraudster is using your card and it's, uh, it's credit, you're not on the hook. Visa is on the hook or MasterCard is on the hook for paying that back. Use a debit card. That's your money. Boom, it's gone. So as soon as you enter your PIN, gone. Um, so there are some differences, though. So uh, buy now, pay later, um, uh, or buy now, pay now. So uh, uh, as far as if you like to budget, if, if, you're, if you're someone that likes to budget by just looking at their balance, maybe at the end of each day or, or, or the beginning of each morning, uh, there's a delay when you use credit versus debit as far as it coming out of your account. So it can make it difficult. Uh, interest charges. Um, so ATM debit cards, no charges applies. Funds are automatically um, put uh, taken from your checking account. Um, and credit card charges do apply if you carry a balance. So, um, and, and they're, 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 the credit cards like you to carry a balance. Uh, you've heard me say, you know, there's, there's two ways to, to make a lot of money in this country, and that's owning land and, and uh, who's paying who interest. So um, they, they run crazy promotions. They might up your credit limit. Um, they want you to have that balance, and then you're paying interest on that. So, yes, it allows you to access money and spend money that you don't have, but you're going to pay more for that. Uh, and then th there's fees, too, that uh, associated with both um, checking accounts, savings accounts, credit cards. Um, you know, there, there's some annual fees on some credit cards um, that, that are very worth it, I think. If there's, um, there's some fees that are, that are, that are predatory. Uh, why would I give XYZ Bank twelve dollars a month just to just just to have a checking account or a savings account? Twenty four dollars a month checking and savings account. Oh, it's a twelve dollar fee. Like for what? Um, so I won't name any 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 banks that do that. But uh, there's lots of there's lots of financial institutions that offer free checking and free savings accounts. Um, and in in why that you know maybe it's six dollars a month they're charging. And that might not seem like a lot, but you know, seventy-two, one hundred forty-four dollars a month. You know, over over a decade, that's that, that's fourteen thousand dollars. So that's a lot of money. At least it is to me. Uh, so just know the different ins and outs. Um, the devil's in the details in these things, and 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 um, nickels and dimes add up to dollars. So 